Hello everyone. So we will be discussing something called taxi cab metric. And we will use it, use a problem from IOQM 2021 to understand what it means and how to solve problems using that. So this problem is problem number 27. And the final answer is 87 if you are just here for the answer. Okay. So IOKM 2021 problem number 27. But as usual, we not only discuss the problem, we discuss the underlying concept in some detail so that you can use it in a different place in a different problem because that's the point, right? Just not the solution, but how it is done. Okay. So what is taxi cab metric? It's quite easy but I'll give you a example in the so this is also known as the Manhattan metric so what it means is that suppose there is a grid okay like this there is a grid now if you are positioned here so you, if you think of these things as roads okay these are the roads and this is where the houses are <laughs> okay so in a big city that's how things are laid out Espe especially this uh, word manhattan is coming from a place in new york called manhattan where uh, this boxy kind of layout of a city is very much prevalent okay so this particular point is suppose a and you want to go to the point b how would you go in this city sort of structure? So what you will do is you will actually just walk along the roads. You cannot directly go from A to B, right? If it was a field, you could have done A to B directly, but you cannot do it because it's a it's a grid, it's a city. So the only way you are allowed to walk here is along the grid lines. In other words, you can go left and right, so right or left. Or you could go up or down, right or left, up or down, right? So, uh, for example, what you could do is you could go from A to this point, then this point, then this point, then this point. So you have like four steps here, four steps. So using four steps, you can reach from A to B. If you want, you could do something really stupid. For example, you could take some more time. So you could go from here to here to here. Then for no reason, you could go here and then here and then here. So this, so one step, two step, three step, four step, five step, six, six steps. So you could do this from A to B in six steps as well. You couldn't, you could have done it for shorter number of steps, a smaller number of steps, but you could want to just wander around a little bit. So the distance between A to B in this way, in this particular system, is 4. So distance from A to B is 4. Why? Because in this man manner, if you want to go from A to B, and if you're not allowed to go diagonally, the shortest, now smallest number of steps you have to take is four. You cannot do it less than four. So the distance is four, but you could t take six steps and so on. You could wander around a little bit. Okay. So that's what the taxi cab metric is all about. And I'll suggest a book. This is a book uh, named as uh, Taxi Cab Geometry. It has many beautiful problems related to it. And I think it's from Dover. Well, name of the publication is Dover. You should definitely go ahead and check it out. Okay. Now let's come to the problem number 27 from IOKM uh, 2021 because that's what we are going to do. So there is a point which is 
A, which is negative 3, 2, and there is another point B, which is 3, negative 2. Okay, so basically we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So, yeah, so you have this zero mark, of course. So maybe I can make a little bit more space to make it more understandable. So this point is the one. And if you have this negative 3, so probably you have to go like this. And three steps to the right. Okay, now we have a better picture. So we have this thing. Okay, three comma negative two. It's a more realistic picture. Now we want to go from A to B, like just like the taxi cab metric discussion was. We were only allowed to walk along the grid lines, left or right, up or down. So we're not allowed to go diagonally. We want to go from A to B. So this is the y axis. So I can sort of draw this like this. And this is the x axis. Okay. And of course, the shortest path from A to B will be 10. Why is that? Okay. You could go like this one step, two step, three step, four step, five step, six step, seven step, eight step. 9 and 10. So, of course, this is not the only way you can do this, but I mean, you could have you could have gone right like this and then gone down, but that's also 10 steps. Okay. So, the, the shortest path is 10 steps, but the problem says you are allowed to wander around a little bit. So, the length of the distance traveled, that, so let me just write it here actually. So the distance traveled is less than or equal to 14. So you can do, take whatever path you want. You can take whatever path you want. But the distance traveled should be less than or equal to 14. So there will be many paths like this. There will be many paths like this. The question is how many paths lattice points how many points with integer coordinates will be on at least one of these paths so i'll write that down how many points how many points with integer coordinates with integer coordinates is at least or are at least on one of these paths on one of these paths so on one of these paths so there will be many such paths so I'll give you an example of a path whose length uh, whose path length is 12 so what you uh, are actually 14 so what you can do is you can go two steps left from a kind of dumb you shouldn't go left if you're going to go to B but you can uh, for just for the sake of it so two steps left and then you come back those two steps so you got two steps left and then you come back those two steps so four steps gone and then you can take this path to B that's four plus ten one more time two steps left two steps right so that's four steps and then you can take this 10 step path to B. So that's 14 step. So this is an example of a 14 step path. One example of a 12 step path will be like this. You can go one step right and then you could go one step up, one step right, one step down and then just do, do your thing. So this particular path will be 12 steps long, this green one. So you can check 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, right? So you could do that. 
so you are allowed to take paths whose length are or steps number of steps is 14 or less so there will be many such paths how many points with integer coordinates are at least are there such that they are on at least one of these paths so all of these points that i have drawn are perfect candidates but how many points are there in total so what we will do is you see if we stay inside this uh, this this rectangle all the path lengths are of length 10 right so i could maybe i could draw it in black so i could draw this rectangle this rectangular grid in black I'll draw this rectangular grid in black and all the length 10 paths will make sure that you visit each of the grid points here. Okay, so for the length 10 paths, all the grid points in this rectangle will be visited. but what about the length 12 and the length 14 ones so we'll take a hint from this example my advisor used to tell this is a Chekhov's gun so i you show an example which is sort of just an example at the beginning and then you actually use it in the proof and show and tell that okay this is the typical case so so this particular um step this is the this is basically what could happen for a 14 length path so what you do is you take a larger grid which is basically two steps up so i'll use a different color actually just to make sure we understand this i'll go two steps deep from this black uh, rectangle rectangular grid on every direction because every time I go two steps to the right or left to the top and then I trace back those two steps that's a 14 step path and that's basically the only way a no atypical 14 step path can come up so here it is Uh, so too, too many dots are there actually I'm drawing all the dots just to make sure that we understand what's going on and okay so this is fine I guess all right this is weird okay so all the dots are here here we go so we have this two amount two step deep external uh, rectangle so this big rectangle and all the 14 step and the 12 step paths will be contained in this now you can visit all these points this black points and the blue points except for a few now why what are those and why you cannot visit those okay I'll tell you what points you cannot visit I'll cross them off and in the comment you tell me why you ca cannot visit these points why can't you visit these points if the path length needs to stay below 14 okay there is a reason you cannot do it but you have to tell me what is the reason and um, in the comment and then you can count the number of points in this uh, blue and black dots so throw away the crossed out ones there are 9 times 11 dots in this large grid why because there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 horizontals and 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 verticals so 11 times 9 is 99 and you are throwing away the 12 extra points so 
which we cannot reach. So minus 12, that's the final answer. But tell me in the comment why you cannot reach those why you cannot reach those crossed out points and uh, what is the final answer you make the computation give the final answer in the chat i've already given it to you but nevertheless so uh, keep on doing great mathematics put look at the link in the description for other iocum problems and more exciting problems and i'll see you in the next one